We're going to balance this using the algebraic method. First, put down variables A, B, and C because we have three chemical species. Then, create a linear equation for each element type, the cobalt and the oxygen. Your linear equation's equal sign will come at the yields or produces arrow. So, one cobalt associated with A and two associated with C. One oxygen with A, two with B, and three with C. Now we're going to select one of our variables to be set equal to one. We're going to choose C. The reason is C immediately tells me about A, but C is also the one with the highest coefficient of three, which means if we do do the math and get fractions, they're usually going to be reasonable. It also means that we're typically going to end up with more whole numbers than not. When we go about doing this, we find out that B is equal to one and a half. When we do this, we find out that B is equal to a half. Since we're not allowed to have halves, we will double everything. Remember, with balancing, there's really only two rules. Have the same number of each atom type on each side, and have it in the simplest whole number ratio. With the traditional method, which is more of a trial and error method, a teeter-totter, seesaw, back and forth method, you'll typically create what's called a wrap table, the reactants, the atoms, and the products. This will allow you to quickly see which things are balanced and which things aren't. Here, the oxygen was balanced, but the cobalt wasn't. So we make an adjustment to make that happen. When we do that, we have to figure out what's going to happen elsewhere. Sometimes this can take quite a bit of effort, and some of the things that we come up with are questionable. Ultimately, we will arrive at the correct answer, but as mentioned, it can take some time. I'll go ahead and show you how the wrap table and the linear equations are virtually the same thing. The wrap table does not include variables and has no equal sign shown. The variables and the equal sign typically throw people when looking at the linear equation. The other issue with the linear equation is things like oxygen would be broken up into 1A and 2B, where the wrap table simply shows it as three oxygens.